All right. We have readies from both players. So let's see what we've got for round three. <clears throat> Our uh, semifinals levels eight to 11. Remember, this is best of three. There's no best of fives in the silver bracket. A horizontal we... clear by Flubs to start the, start the match. And we're just going to make a couple of very quick adjustments while uh, we continue this match. Looks like Don Venure is playing the long game. Nope, decided to clear that those reds instead and, of go for the horizontal to drop it down. Uh, Don has opened up that center well, though, though it means really not too much as everything's clustered to either side of the board. Uh, but still good practice to get anything uh, below or get any horizontal clears along those last couple of rows. Meanwhile, Flub's already down to a dozen viruses playing very efficiently. Starting to run into an exclusively blue top line, uh, but making some very good progress here. I might have gone, uh, I might have stuck that uh, red blue up and gone for the, or red yellow up and gone for the double. It looks like she's chicken trying for the drop T. And we'll see if she gets it. Looks like she is going to get it. A drop T. Going to clean Bang. up some garbage a little as well that did eat a little bit of time it's allowed dawn to catch up dawn now has taken the virus lead here as it is now uh four viruses to five flub's going to clear out the garbage now down to four and uh looks like the horizontal's the way to go here but dawn out first at a minute 37. minute 37 is pretty solid for a level eight time a 149 for flubs And we are off here. It's three virus difference. Good boards for both players. A lot more double opportunities I'm seeing on Dawn's side of the board. Uh, but Flubs has uh, some good doubles of her own as uh, she is uh, establishing the uh, packy camera strategy, uh, not being completely on the camera. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a good strat to play. Oh, no! A big misdrop from Flubs. That could be trouble. She might have an early top out here, and she's going to take a top out. Yeah, she's just going to take it. I think that's a smart play. Uh, see if you can catch up uh, via speed. You are going to lose a little bit of progress. That is now a 22 virus lead for Dawn Venier. Very rough going early on for Flubs, but she's starting to recover very nicely. It's funny because that level 9 all, all of a sudden after that top out seemed like it started almost exactly like her level 8 did. Yeah. But she is With, on level nine, which uh, is good. Yeah, yeah, she is on the right level. I just noticed that. Uh, I just noticed that very same blue horizontal clear that she had on level eight. It is coincidence. It is six viruses to go here, and it does look like that. Uh, that top out might cost Flubs this first game, but still a lot to play for here. As uh, we get into three and a half minutes, uh, it looks like Dawn is going to focus on setting up that red first. Do you like that call? Uh, yeah, I do like that call. I mean, if you're not getting blue, then you should be setting up the red, and that's exactly what he's doing, and he's out. out. Flubs is up only 10 viruses behind, though, considering the top out. She's, it was apparently not as catastrophic as we thought. She was screaming through this redo of nine, so... Keeping herself yeah. in it. We've seen crazy comebacks uh, all around this tournament, so anything can happen. And we're going to see a horizontal clear by Flubs, and she's going to turn that, convert that garbage nicely into another clear, electing to go uh, horizontal. She's going to take that drop time. That's about a second and a quarter of drop time. A little brutal, but she is out at a 413. And going into uh, 10, she is. She's gone from 22 to about 17 viruses, so definitely making a strong comeback here is Flubs, the three seed. Yeah, she's probably going to need some more good fortune from RNG, but this board looks really good so far. There's a lot of double opportunities waiting for her. 
and we just saw her uh, get a quick little one drop triple. And uh, Don had a blue red uh, that he could not play, so he's got to work some garbage around. But he has uh, managed to get to it here. It's a 12 virus lead here for Don as we hit the five minute mark. The lead is down to just a little over a dozen now. Fwubs has a very clustered right hand side that she's going to have to deal with very soon. And it looks like that is the plan right now. Uh, but not a lot of red on that top line to help her, and not getting a lot of red either, so she's having to get creative with some clears. Good horizontal clear there. Looks like RNG's decided to hold her back a little bit, and uh, Dawn's starting to fly away with this. Yeah, that's the way it looks so far, though the virus lead has been pretty much the same as it was about 30 seconds ago, so maybe Dawn's getting a little hung up as well. And it's swerved over uh, Dawn out at about a 539 and immediately uh, picks up a d horizontal double uh, looking to put this one away Flubs just looking to get out I like this tuck play by Flubs very smart and uh, now is set up beautifully here uh, she's actually cleaned her board up very nicely all she really needs to do is get a horizontal blue clear or uh, yeah she's you know, she perfectly set to up to that. finish this end game very nice, very nice endgame management by Flubs. Very good. She's out at 613 and uh, gets to 11 here. She's down by about 16 viruses. But we saw people come back from 18 in the last round. So uh, keep your eyes peeled on Flubs' board. But uh, don't forget about Don here. Don, no yellow on his top line. He's going to have to work hard. 26 viruses to go. And uh, didn't get the, uh, didn't go for the uh, double. I thought he might have gone for it. But, uh, oh, a great little compact combo there. Nice. I think he was trying to go for that double yellow tuck. Didn't quite get it. Mm, I think he's I think he's pretty much been playing this as he intended to for the most part. Looks like he's trying to set up that blue hor or not blue horizontal, yellow horizontal to clear out some of the garbage there. Nice little T clear. Good little T drop. And it is uh, 17 viruses here, Flubs. Uh, some really nice, efficient play down to 32 viruses. Going to get uh, four more viruses off the board and two pills. Now six and three. Uh, so now single digits uh, is the lead for uh, Dawn here as we get into the home stretch of this first game. And just as the lead hits single digits, a four virus no drop clear from Don Venure. He is ripping up this end game, but right now he's. Right now, he could use some red help on the left-hand side. Flubs now down to 14 viruses. Flubs needing uh, red help, especially on the right side. We'll see what she's able to do here as we uh, close in on eight minutes. Good uh, good decision-making there. Uh, I really like that play, uh, getting that double clear, and then getting another clear. Flubs down to nine. It's nine to three now, nine to two, but Dawn is free and clear, just needs the one red, and Dawn out at an 8.05. So Don Venior, despite uh, his opponent Flubs hitting a top out, kept it really close here. Uh, but uh, Don is uh, the winner of game one, and Flubs just narrowly missed, but a great recovery after a really bad top out. Absolutely. It's so easy to get frazzled after something like that happens, and you just see no way out, and just... You think top out, you think that you pretty much just lost it, but she made it a game. So Flubs resetting and Dawn resetting. Uh, we'll just need timer resets from both players. We're just waiting on a timer reset from Flubs, and all right, we've got it. That's the wrong one. Dave Smith says is not in this tournament. He's in the next tournament. Dawn one win away from taking home uh, a finals appearance here. And uh, winning the silver championship, the winner faces John Nash fourth in 
immediately following this match. And we see... Yeah, we are, we are doing the whole thing today, guys, so sit tight. A, yeah, we're doing the whole bracket today, so uh, be ready. Uh, good starts for both players. Uh, Don's got a lot of clustering in the lower left of his board. Not a lot of yellow on that top line either. Uh, meanwhile, Flub's looking to possibly go for a center well here. Uh, has that right side opened up a little bit more. Uh, her left side, it looks like, is going to be the bigger problem. Some really good tuck plays and bracket clears from Dawn so far to keep the stack nice and manageable. And, and bracket clears, you know, while they may not give you everything you need, they're so important to uh, maintain efficiency because having that half a second of drop time is way better than having, say, two seconds of drop time. Because you literally cannot do anything while the pills fall down. Absolutely. So just the left side of this board remains. Both players are flying through level 8 right now. A little bit faster here for Dawn, but Flubs uh, really could get a red-blue surge and even this thing up. And here it comes. But all Dawn needs are three reds, and he's going to get a double red out at a minute 31. Excellent eight. Outstanding eight. Flubs think... going for... Mm -hmm. I was going to say, Flubs may have overmanaged that uh, right side, uh, but it looks like she's managed to fix everything. Uh, she's going to have to clear that yellow piece of garbage to uh, access the red, and it looks like that's her game plan here as we hit two minutes, uh, and there goes the blue. So uh, Flub's just looking to get out, but we're seeing Dawn just torch his way through. Flub's going to get the vertical out at 2.07, but that 30 seconds means 15 viruses uh, have uh, already gone off of uh, Dawn Venier's uh, level 9 here as uh, we play 8 to 11 here in this semifinal of our Silver Brackets it's the Silver End of Year Championship, celebrating our players and all members of our community. My name's JB Henry. I'm joined by Packy here in the booth, and you're watching the two and the three seed battle it out here as Flub's uh, looking to struggle, or looks to struggle here on uh, level number nine. Yeah, no access to blue and a lot of yellow garbage on the board. She needs red to punch out these viruses. Just absolutely brutal RNG for Flubs right now. Uh, Dawn already down to six viruses and in very good shape here. Uh, no reds left, or yellows rather, left to speak of. Uh, but doing a lot of work on those other colors. And uh, it looks like it's going to be all vertical all the way here. Just needing uh, a few blues. Uh, looks like Dawn may be setting up for that horizontal, and he will. So Don Venier is going to be out at a 321. Excellent time. Commanding lead for Don. This is an awesome time thus far. Our most improved player of 2021 showing why he's won that uh, commendation as he is going to town here, but has this pocket of reds and no yellow on that top line, Packy. Very brutal start. Yeah. But by eliminating that blue virus right there, he will expose a red virus and be able to work with those pieces again. He's got a horizontal quad opportunity. I think he's waiting for a red blue. Oh no, he's going to take that play, which is that way works more just as good. But now it's a double red surge. So, uh, and wow, that's five, six, <sighs> seven in a row. Oof. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've seen Packy lose uh, matches before thanks to that uh, awful, awful uh, encounter. So uh, 27 viruses to go. Flood still working on nine. And she is very close. And, oh, a couple of double reds. Going to combo out at a 432. But again, Packy, it looks like Dawn is running away with this. Yeah, so far it's a... A two dozen virus lead about Don need Don only has two reds left on his board right now and here comes another red surge just the worst uh, but <laughs> Don manages to get it done here uh, gonna hook up that uh, double yellow into column number six uh, good board so far 
uh, as Dawn's going to get that long vertical clear. And uh, really, it's just academic here, just needing some blues. So we'll see what uh, the two seed can do. But Flub's starting to make a move here down to 31 and uh, not not really accessing a lot of blue on that top line and also garbage in columns 7 and 8. Uh, she's being forced to knock that off the board. Uh, but now starting to uh, get into a groove here down to 24 and uh, cleans up her board nicely. She's managed to close the gap a little bit, down now about 18 viruses behind where it was 24 earlier. So we are seeing Flubs again uh, facing, uh, facing a loss here, uh, playing strong and coming back. Uh, really earned her way into uh, the semifinal match against Don Venier. And, Looks like uh, a bit of a misdrop there, but she quickly corrected it with another double blue. Dawn's going to be out at a 608, a little sl sluggish on that, uh, or sluggish rather, on the time, but still doing fantastic. And now we see Dawn Venier go to work here on level number 11, looking to put this away against the three seeded flubs. And we're seeing a lot of really smart horizontal plays, really reducing drop times. Uh, just clean, efficient play by Dawn Venier. Flubs uh, down to her final eight viruses and uh, is going to combo some stuff down, opening up another red here as we hit the six minute and 40 second mark. She uh, is getting a lot of blue and blue is completely useless to her. Mm, somehow that's how, <laughs> that's just how it is sometimes. It looked like Don Manuer probably misdropped that double yellow earlier, but it's all cleaned up now and He's pretty much running free. The board looks clean and neat and very uh, varied on the top line. He's got a place to put pretty much everything right now. And we see 24 viruses to go here. So half a level between uh, Dawn and Flubs as uh, we are one match away from our silver championship finals. And we'll have one more award for you as well, but... We just need to get through this, and Flub's looking to force a game three. She's going to need to clear 40 viruses faster than Dawn clears out 16. And uh, she's got a lot of doubles, so she's got a really good opportunity. Very low drop uh, triple there for Flub's. And now starting to tackle uh, some pieces on that right side. Going to get the double blue. <clears throat> it looks like uh, going to need to clear out a bit of garbage to get to it, but she is close. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, Don Venier uh, is down to his final two viruses, just needing a blue and a red, and you'll love to see it as uh, it's going to be a force drop. There you no. go. Going to drop. He's going to wait till he he waits for the red yellow, and I like that move because then that flattens it out, so he can play with pretty much anything. Exactly, exactly right there, Packy. As Eight minutes, 21 seconds. Don Vanyor is going to the Silver Championship and will be facing John Nash. Flubs played a great game. Nearly pulled it out despite a top out. But uh, Flubs, uh, hold your head up high. You're going to tie for third place with Oop the Librarian. So uh, congratulations to you. But Don and John coming up next. And we have one more awards announcement. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll see you in a few minutes.